Are you guys still here? Well, since you've been gone for a little while, I've placed this on. And I've got another one sitting here, ready to go to my grow what, which I haven't done yet, but we'll get onto that soon. Meanwhile, down below, we are cooking with gas. We're slowly getting there. That has to be changed over, of course. I'm not gonna leave without a good heat shrink boot on it. And that's gonna be done over here. And the other end's gonna be done, but I've got the circuit breaker hooked up so far. Got a little bit of work to do down the bottom and yeah, we're really starting to get going along with this project now. And yeah, next thing's to cut a bit of this off and put that on. Now, all I've got is this, these. So what I've worked out is if I put them on first and also put my heat, heat boot on, don't forget your heat boot, um, which has a glue in it, the ones I'm using, I can just pop that on and I should be able to go over the top of it and crimp it down. So that'll save me a little bit of time and effort. But uh, yeah, it's looking pretty fancy. Uh, yeah, getting closer. Hey guys, finished the job at the moment, so I'm not going any further tonight. I had to play around with that to get that to go in because it was quite large, uh, if you can see it. A bit dark at the moment, so I've got me um, Victron current meter set up there. I'm just gonna read a little bit more. And I've got all the wiring ready to go up the top. I've just got to hook up the balance beam. Oh, sorry, not the balance beam. <laughs> the BMS balance leads. <laughs> and then I've got to run cable to there and start doing the solar back into the, uh, into the grow lot. So yeah, a lot of work. Yeah. <sighs> And if it hadn't have been for the power outage the other day, I don't think I would have got half this done as quickly as I did. I was just taking my time with it, waiting for other bits and pieces and coming along. Anyway, we'll get it finished. And I'll see you on the next one.